can crops be genetically modified and can this genetically modified crops be used commercially in India? To know answer for all these questions, do watch this video. First of all, what are GM crops? See, the GM stands for genetically modified. The GM crop is nothing but a plant that has a novel or unusual combination of genetic material obtained through the use of modern biotechnology. For example, a GM crop can contain a gene that has been artificially inserted instead of acquiring through pollination. The resulting plant is said to be genetically modified. Okay. And know that the genetic modification is a technology that involves inserting DNA into the genome of an organism. So to produce a GM plant, new DNA is transferred into plant cells. And after the new DNA is transferred to plant cells, they are usually grown in tissue culture where they develop into plants. And the seeds produced by these plants will inherit the new DNA. And the plants formed from these seeds will also inherit the new DNA. So this is how GM crops are produced. Now you may ask why a new DNA is inserted to plant cells. See we all know that the characteristics of all living organisms are determined by their genetic makeup. The genetic makeup is nothing but the genome and this genome consists of DNA. Also know that gene is a region of DNA that contains instruction for making proteins and these proteins only will decide the characteristics of plants. Now you know why we are inserting new genes into plant cells. See by doing this no, we can obtain desirable characteristics in plants. We can make plants herbicide resistant, drought resistant and insecticide resistant. For instance, let us take Bt cotton. Bt cotton is a genetically modified pest resistant cotton variety which has the ability to combat ball worm. So far we saw about the basics of GM crops. Now let us see the procedure for approval in India. See in India, the Environment Protection Act 1986 is an umbrella legislation which provides a holistic framework for the protection and improvement to the environment and rules for the manufacture, use, import, export and storage of hazardous microorganisms, genetically engineered organisms or cells 1989 have been notified under this Environmental Protection Act 1986. So these rules are only the apex rules for the regulation of all activities related to genetically engineered organisms and products. And know that six competent authorities have been notified under the rules. I have given here the authorities. Please go through it. And have a look at this flowchart given here. It is talking about the procedure for approval of GM crops. See, applicant will give the application to Institutional Biosafety Committee and this committee will forward the application to Review Committee on Genetic Manipulation. And this Review Committee on Genetic Manipulation will review the data and give approval for biosafety studies. And after this only, the Genetic Engineering Appraisal Committee gives approval for field trials. And after this, the approval for environmental release will be considered. If the committee feels that the particular variety is suitable for environmental release, then the genetic engineering appraisal committee will give approval for the commercial release. As news says that the genetic engineering appraisal committee again cleared the proposal for commercial cultivation of genetically modified mustard. Now comes the question, is this the final step in the approval process? See, it is a big no. The Genetic Engineering Appraisal Committee evaluates research into GM plants and recommends or disapproves their release into farmer fields. The final call however is taken by the Environment Minister. So GM mustard or the genetically modified mustard should get a nod from Environment Ministry also. So that's all about this news article. So through this discussion we saw what are GM crops and then we saw how it is approved for commercial usage. So through this video 
we saw about what are genetically modified crops and we saw what is the procedure to commercialize such crops in India. If you want to know more such environment topics, do watch the Hindu News Analysis brought to you by Shankar IAS Academy regularly. Thank you.